Hello, how to solve for a and b in this equation a plus b is equal to 10, a b is equal to 100. Solution. a plus b is equal to 10. Let's call this equation 1. a b is equal to 100. Let's call this equation 2. From equation 1, A plus B equal to 10. Let's make B the subject of the formula. B is equal to 10 minus A. Let's call this equation 3. Then from equation 2, we want to substitute for B. That is A, B is equal to 100. Now when b is 10 minus a, we have a bracket 10 minus a is equal to 100. Let's open the bracket. a multiplied by 10, this is 10a minus a multiplied by a, this is a square is equal to 100. We have 10a minus a square. If you bring this to this side, it becomes minus 100 is equal to 0. Then we can put this in standard form. We have minus a square plus 10a minus 100 is equal to 0. Let's divide all through by minus 1. Minus a square divided by minus 1. This will give you a square. Then plus 10a divided by minus 1. This is minus 10a. Then minus 100 divided by minus 1. This will give you plus 100 is equal to 0. And of course, this is a quadratic equation. Let's solve this using quadratic general formula. You have a is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac then divided by 2a and from this equation a is equal to 1 b equal to minus 10 c is equal to 100 Now let's consider this first, which is discriminant. D is equal to B square minus 4AC. Then D is equal to B square, that is minus 10 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 100. Here we have minus 10 square, this is 100 minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 100 that is 400 then d is equal to 100 minus 400 this is minus 300 so let's plug this in here we have a is equal to minus bracket minus 10 plus or minus square root of minus 3 100 divided by 2 multiplied by 1. A is equal to minus times minus 10. This is 10 plus or minus square root of minus 300 can be written as 3 multiplied by 100 multiplied by minus 1. divided by 2. Then this is a is equal to 10 plus or minus square root of 100 is 10 and square root of minus 1 that is i. We have root 3 divided by 2. Uh, a is equal to 
10 divided by 2 plus or minus 10i divided by 2 root 3 2 here 1 2 here 5 2 here 1 2 here 5 then a is equal to 5 plus or minus 5i root 3 therefore a1 is equal to 5 plus 5i root 3 or if you factor 5 out we have 5 bracket 1 plus i root 3 then a2 is equal to 5 minus 5i root 3 or if you factor 5 out we have 5 bracket 1 minus i root 3 we've gotten the value of a1 and a2 then we can solve for b1 and b2 to solve for b from equation 3 b is equal to 10 minus a then b1 will be equal to 10 minus 5 plus 5i root 3 then b1 will be equal to 10 minus 5 minus 5i root 3 now b1 will be equal to 5 minus 5i root 3 or 5 bracket 1 minus i root 3 also for b2 b2 is equal to 10 minus 5 minus 5i root 3 then this is 10 minus 5 plus 5i root 3 then we have 5 plus 5i root 3 that is b2 or 5 bracket 1 plus i root 3 so this is the value of b2 therefore our final answers are a1 comma b1 is equal to 5 plus 5i root 3 comma 5 minus 5i root 3 then a2 comma b2 is equal to 5 minus 5i root 3 comma 5 plus 5i root 3 then we can see that from here a1 here is equal to b2 here b1 here is equal to a2 here